Well, uh, there's not just a one type of workout that you can do uh, for someone um, because even if they do, they do have gut problems. Um, some I, I find clinically, some people actually feel better after they work out. Like they feel like their bloating is less. And then just the other day, I had, had someone who just finished training for half Ironman, and so now she's like, "Well, I'm not going to train as much." And of course, that's a catch twenty two, right? So now she's gaining some weight because she's not burning as much calories. And then, um, but then she notices, well, when I run in eight miles on the weekend, just to basically baseline run, then she feels bloated after she comes back. So with someone like that, what I normally do is it's usually the volume that kills people. So when I'm working with maybe say someone who wants to train for a marathon, um, marathon training is kind of funny. If you go online, you go, oh, what's marathon training? And then you, you click on it and then it's a program for 26 weeks, right? So if you've never run a marathon, the first week is what? It's one mile. Second week is two miles, three miles. And then when you get to the 14th week, you're supposed to be running 14 miles. Well, most people that don't run, they're usually hobbling along the road with a knee, you know, a choke pad and ankle brace and, you know, they're hobbling along because it's usually the volume that kills people. So normally if someone does have some kind of, you know, gut issue or, um, or a telltale sign is if you just do a workout and for the next four hours, three, four hours, you're like, oh my God, I just, I'm just dead. I just want to go to sleep. That's not a good sign. Um, you should finish your workout. Yes, you may be a little fatigued. But after you eat within half an hour, hour, you should be good to go and, and function normally, go to work or go play with the kids or whatever that is that you're going to do. Um, so if you do suffer, you notice that you're having a pattern of bloating and digestive symptoms, then I usually say cut back by the volume by 30%. So, I mean, if you just talk simply about time, if you normally work out for, you know, um, 60 minutes, then just do 40 minutes.